too, my dearest. Your eyes shine brighter than the stars. Someday soon we can... <laughs> if I ever talk like that, you have my permission to stab me. Gladly. This is a private matter. What's a private matter? Something that doesn't involve you. Oh, hey, a letter. Who are you writing to? Um, speaking of writing, uh, I am having trouble writing my backstory. Um, why did all of you start adventuring? Yeah, we got Ranger who can help with danger when you're in trouble. And Umbra can help to scrum if she don't stumble. My man, we you will spell your doom with his blade. And gosh, that Tasha seems to never feel afraid when the bad guys invade. And the goblins are swarming to echo. She's new, so pass on this warning. These adventures are always more than basic. Yeah, and your adventures will never be basic. When I was but a callow youth, I was caught, um, <clears throat> euphemisming the mayor's daughter. I was given a choice, leave town or learn about gelding firsthand. I left and never looked back. That can't possibly be true. That is so not you. You're always so... <laughs> <laughs> I was 16 when I started. My only two interests were girls and fighting. In that order. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go refill my mead. I was picturing more of an Aragorn esque Lost King backstory. I cannot get into Lord of the Rings. Singing hobbits are not my cup of tea. Yeah, if you wanted to watch a musical, you would watch Spice World for the one billionth time. <laughs> you watch Spice World? I don't think I know your backstory, Tasha. Oh, my story is rather dull. I spent my early days in the elven glades of Thistleness. My best friend and I would spend our days together learning magics from the tribe leader and communing with nature. But then... Then what? There was a military coup. The other side joined up with goblins to gain superior military might. My master was on the wrong side. They killed him and my best friend to make an example of them. Burnt at the stake, I... I ran away. I can't ever go home. Excuse me. I must go commune with nature. That means she has to pee. Oh, of course. <sighs> what about your story? Well, I grew up in the sleepy little town of Ortschaft. My parents were farmers. Wheat farmers. <laughs> we had a pretty idyllic life. Until one day, when it was all shattered when a marauding band of bandits came and- Did you choose the name Gloomy to match with your tragic backstory? Oh, oh, yeah, <laughs> okay, Umbrella. At least my backstory is better than got bored, left home. Whatever, backwoods Batman. It's easier to travel without baggage. Hey, Batman is pretty cool. Go on, Will. Thank you. You know, it's nice to find somebody who appreciates a good backstory unlike some people. I know it's a little bit cliche to put dead parents into a backstory, but I feel like it provided just the right amount of pathos. I know it's tropey to have Will watch his mother die in front of him, but I feel like it was a really good dramatic choice. I'm going to go check, check on Tasha. She's been gone a long time. Oh, I'll come with you. Nope. Is it something I said? What happened? I was just telling my backstory to Karen, and then all of a sudden she went to check on Abigail and Sarah stormed off after her. For some people, 
Losing a parent isn't just a backstory. What? I'm trying hard to listen because they tell me that the problem is me. Am I a better man for trying or am I just lying through my teeth? I call it bad luck. They laugh and say luck has nothing to do with being an ass. Because every time I open my mouth, the worst choices of words fall out. At this rate, I'll never have a girlfriend. The worst choices of words fall out. I'll probably die alone. The worst choices of words fall out. Why can't I keep my mouth shut? The worst choices of words fall out. Every time. Brighter than the stars.